Hello friends, welcome back to our series of revision program which is intended to help you in this last moment to revise the things and attempt the questions in less time in your exam. So here we are with the next set of mnemonics which is based on one of the recently asked questions in Ames November 2018 exam that is the drug schedules. So there are various schedules, we will see that how do we remember those. So the first schedule that we would be seeing is schedule F F. So schedule FF is for ophthalmic drugs. How do we remember that? We remember it by spelling ophthalmic as O F. So F F is for ophthalmic drugs. The next is schedule G. How do we remember that? G stands for guidance. That is medical supervision so g stands for guidance that is medical supervision so these drugs should be taken under medical supervision though prescription is not necessary to buy these drugs the next is schedule h which is remember it by healthcare practitioner prescription is required so these drugs require the prescription to buy. So remember H is healthcare practitioner prescription is required. This was the question that was asked in the recent AIMS exam. Now the next schedule is schedule J. How do we remember that? So schedule J includes drugs which are for conditions which cannot be cured or prevented. They do not claim that. So conditions like HIV, diabetes mellitus atherosclerosis come under these so how do we remember that so when a patient gets diseases like this that is hiv diabetes which cannot be cured the patient ki ho jati hai j ho so j ho is j so j ho that only lord can protect you now so j stands for conditions which make you j ho the next is schedule p how do we remember that? P stands for period of life. What does that mean? The expiry date of the drug. So if they ask you which schedule is related to the expiry date and the storage conditions of the drug, it is schedule P. So P is period of life. The next is schedule W. So, Schedule W includes drugs which are to be sold only under generic names. So, how do we remember that? Under generic names, generic names matlab, waise hi, you have to sell them. You cannot change the name, you cannot give a brand name. So, waise hi, ya wohi naam mein jayenge. So, that is Schedule W. That is waise hi, ya wohi naam mein, the drugs which are sold. The next is schedule X so X is something which is X that is absolutely not recommended to be taken these are the drugs which are psychotropic drugs so in India this schedule is the one which is the most strict you need to maintain the documents similar to Schedule H, but Schedule X is more strict. It requires a prescription, maintenance of documents, then only these drugs can be sold. So X is XX, that is absolutely contraindicated drugs like psychotropic drugs. The next is Schedule Y. How do we remember that? Schedule Y is for clinical trials. So clinical trials whenever you have to do a clinical trial there has to be a why behind it you are asked a question why do you want to do it so there has to be a why behind a clinical trial so why is clinical trial related schedule so let us quickly go through this so the first we saw is schedule f so f is ff is ophthalmic g is guidance that is medical supervision prescription not required example antihistaminics H is healthcare practitioner prescription. So prescription is a must. So supervision and prescription. Then J is J-Ho conditions, HIV, diabetes, those drugs. 
then we have schedule p p is period of life that is the expiry date and storage w is waise hi ya wohi naam se sell karna hai that is generic x is psychotropic drugs and y is y for clinical trial so these are the various schedules hope this mnemonic helps you to remember so do like share and subscribe for our youtube channel to get notified about more such videos which we'll be keeping posting thank you and best wishes